The Army is a family with everything that entails. It's ups and downs, positives and negatives. More positives, as far as I'm concerned, obviously, because, well, I'm not ashamed to admit it. I'm proud to be a soldier's wife. And yes, it does mean I'm married to someone whose job description includes being prepared to die. Only, of course, we try not to dwell on that. We're very matter-of-fact about insurance and the making of wills. It's in the official list of things to do for every spouse of every rank before they're sent on operations. I say spouse because those of us left behind these days are sometimes husbands. Though, of course, it's usually wives. There aren't many women serving with this regiment, not married ones anyway. I know it's not fashionable to say, but I think that's just as well. Women in armed combat has never struck me as a sort of equality worth fighting for. Actually, that's not my main concern, tell the truth. I am more worried about the temptation for the men. Serving alongside women has led, surprise, surprise, to affairs, and not just rash flings, but full-blown relationships causing the breakup of otherwise perfectly happy marriages. <laughs> Surprisingly, it can be hard when they come back for R&R. &R. That's rest and recuperation, though rowing and reproduction is a more accurate description. In a six-month deployment, they get two weeks leave. So that usually pans out as two days of bonking, ten of rowing and two of trying to make it up again at the end. Simon, my husband, is a major with one of the units on the ground and relies on me to be the glue here back at home. Generally, it's about the social niceties, taking a pot plant round or a bunch of flowers when a new family moves on to the base or a congratulations card, something from m and when a baby's born. This week, it's specifically about Pete. Well, it had been hoped he could go back with them this time, but unfortunately that hasn't happened. Pete, Sue's husband, Lance Corporal with the unit, caught by an IED in Lashkagar, concussed, broken leg, been in intensive care, quite some time in the high dependency unit, or just been transferred to our local hospital, sitting up and fighting fit. Don't know any more at this stage. Pretty sure Sue doesn't know either. Well, let's just say if she did know, we'd all know. Some of us are more self-contained than others. If I had a problem, I wouldn't dream of telling Simon. Back in Helmand, any lapse in concentration could, depending on the circumstances, prove fatal. This is why he needs me to keep an ear to the ground to this end. Because if something is troubling the wives, that will affect the men. And morale is low enough as it is because they've had to go back without Pete. They're all preoccupied about that. So I'm to step in, be a bit of a shoulder for Sue, his wife. Simon is quite concerned about Anne's husband, Barry. Been a staff sergeant far too long, served in what? Northern Ireland, Bosnia, First Gulf War, Iraq, you name it, always likes to be in the thick of it. Very low boredom threshold, but because Anne and I are chums, I don't like to pry. She's like me, wearing our hearts on our sleeve isn't really our thing. So Simon suggested that I get the wives together and said to include Kate. Now he's not worried about Dave, her husband, but Kate works as a beautician on the base and he thinks if something's going on, she'll know. Oh, Simon is quite anxious about Michael, that's Ruby's husband. Says he's preoccupied. Of course that could just be about Pete. Oh, Ruby's upstairs now, changing the sheets. Comes in for me once a week. Simon thinks she might be having an affair. I can't see it myself, but true enough, extramarital bonky on any army base isn't exactly unusual. And she does have the time. She doesn't have any children yet. So I'm going to organise a little get together for the wives each week just to keep the chins up and help solve any problems before they get filtered back to the men. Oh, I've no idea what form it'll take. I'm going to ask for suggestions though. I'm an old hand at this and the last thing I want is to have someone imposing something from above. Oh, would you excuse me a mo? That sounds like Ruby.